How's it going everyone? Um, today I wanted to speak to you about impeller noise. Uh, this is quite a common problem for people uh, and sometimes it can be quite hard to solve. I've got a uh, good method uh, to fix impeller noise um, which I'm going to share with you. This pump here is an all pond solution 650 litres per hour submersible. Um, I use it to, to move CO2 bubbles from one side of the tank to the other um, as this is a four foot tank just to um, make sure the uh, CO2 is flowing nicely around the tank. Um, the the uh, current decibel of this tank tops out around about 52 decibels um, with the noise that's going on. Um, it's, it's quite a loud noise when you're sitting there trying to watch TV in the lounge um, so I'm gonna show you now how to solve that. Okay here we are the uh, submersible pump is now out of the tank so I'm just going to disassemble it Okay, then what you want to do is inspect it just to make sure everything is still in good condition. Uh, on the shaft there, you can see some rust, and the shaft is actually thinned out. So obviously that's uh, a bit of wear and tear on there. So I mean that could have been a lot of the problem with the noise is uh, due to the shaft that's worn down. Everything else looks fine. The, the suction pads have got a bit flat, um, but a good tip with them is to pop them out put them in a bowl and add some hot water to it and just leave them soaking in there a little bit just to make them pliable again Next we'll check inside the shaft just to make sure everything's clean and this is where my toothbrush comes in handy again just to give it a bit of a, a clean around in there. Some of you may have seen some of my other videos where I swear by having a toothbrush it's uh, one of the best tools I think you can have when it comes to doing maintenance on your tank okay what I use is silicon oil uh, I've seen many people try different things to stop vibration on their impellers so what I do if you add a little bit of silicon oil onto the end of the metal shaft just put it inside so you can get some into the hole at the bottom where the, uh, the metal shaft sits in then get your impeller add some silicone oil to that and you can see pushed out so that's that's all lubricated inside that And then you can go ahead and 
put it back into place making sure to find the hole at the bottom properly one way to check this is to remove the impeller and to put the shaft in first so you know it's sitting into the hole at the bottom perfectly then you can put this back on again I'm just going to put a, a little bit more silicon oil just where I've taken it out just to show you that silicon oil is perfectly safe for fish and shrimp um, you're not going to harm it at all which is one of the bonuses with using um, silicon oil then you want to clip it all back together again give your uh, suction cups a good clean and you can see they've popped back out again they're no longer flat anymore so give them a good clean with a toothbrush just to get any crap off them then place the back on and slide that back into place and put the end back on so that's my very quick maintenance to try and stop impeller vibration what I'm going to do now is put that back into the tank and we'll see what it's like when it's up and running fingers crossed the uh, the worn down metal shaft isn't going to cause too much of a problem and hopefully that would have solved the noise okay so now the uh, pumps back in the tank um, the silicon oil seems to have done its job nicely um, it's much much quieter um, it's, it's something I can easily sit through whilst watching the TV in the lounge um, I'm going to show you what the decibel rating is now you go so about 45 decibels um, so there is a substantial drop um, in the uh, decibel rating um, I'm very pleased with uh, how the silicon oils worked um, I did this with my hang on filter for my shrimp tank as well that started to sound a bit rattly so I used silicon oil on that and that stopped it all there was there was no noise at all coming from that um, so get yourself some silicon oil if uh, you find yourself with a, a rattly impeller use use some of that on the uh, metal shaft um, and hopefully uh, it will stop all the vibrations for you thanks for watching everyone